hello everyone welcome to stat pro tutorials today we will learn how to assign specification property and support specification i have considered a basic geometry for understanding purpose let us start the basic uh, profile or the follow up which we have to proceed that first we will create a geometry nodes beams or plate then we provide the properties then we have to go for specification constraints or support for analyzing a particular structures then we provide the loading so today we will learn how to input properties specification constraints or the support we have learned in earlier sessions like how we can create geometry node beams or plate so i have considered a basic geometry for understanding purpose the main page control tab in a general format or in a modeling mode is available so we have four sub topics over here that is material load and definition support specification and property so while clicking on the material it will highlight the basic materials which are available in the stat pro with their values values of modulus of elasticity poisson's ratio density and alpha that is temperature coefficient steel stainless steel aluminum and concrete are the basic properties which are provided in the inbuilt of the stat pro so these are the properties you can use for developing or analyzing the structure you can the double click or by providing edit approach you can view the basic properties over here like its young modulus poisson's ratio density thermal coefficient critical damping and shear modulus so these are the basic properties available over here which we can use for the analysis the next part is load and definition uh, we can provide the different types of load we will learn this in the next session uh, right now we are concentrating on the support and property specification so the when i click on the support a new table will highlight so the basic table and one of the specification that is s1 uh, no support specification is defaultly available you can develop the new support by providing the create as we know we have the basic types of supports you can see over here the basic three types of support are fixed support pin support and ruler support a fixed support in which the horizontal vertical reaction and a moment is available the support prevents translation in vertical and horizontal direction and also rotation hence a couple moment is developed on the body the next is the pin support the joint cannot move in the vertical and horizontal direction so the reaction will be fx and fy there will be no moment in this type of support the next is the roller support the connection point on the bar cannot move downwards so we have a surface reaction or the basic reaction in the vertical direction so stair has provided the basic types of support that is fixed support here restrain in fx fy and fz it has written similar manner pin support is also provided a pin support is restrained in all three translation degree of freedom and free in three rotations in a similar manner we have fixed support as we know a node or a beam has a six degrees of freedom three translation and three rotational so for the fixed support the it is restrained in all six degrees of freedom roller support we have to specify or we have to develop by using the fix or enforce but command that let us understand how we can develop this uh, we have a specification of fixed but support a fixed but support that all directions are restrained or fixed and we choose what are the direction that we want to release so we will release the all direction except for the fy so we can go for the checkbox providing fx fz mx my and mz we can add this command so it will automatically add it in the library so uh, defaultly roller support is not available in the table but we can develop using the fix but command in a similar manner enforce and enforce but commands are also provided in this segment the enforce but command is prescribed by providing the prescribed displacement it is used as in load cases where there is a 
given displacement it provided and also we can use this for mass modeling parameter so this is how we can develop the different types of support now let us understand how we can use this or assign this to the particular geometry right now i have added a roller support a fixed support and pin support so let us understand how we can assign this to the property page or the geometrical part so we have basic four methodologies for assignment method that is assigned to selected nodes assigned to view use cursor to assign assigned to edit list so uh, four methodologies are for support specification uh, keep in mind that support specifications are always allotted to node numbers or the nodes so we have to select the node first in which we want to highlight suppose i am selecting this node by pressing the left click of the command so it is highlighted so the first command will highlight assign to selected node it's a manual method you can go for selected node suppose i am selecting multiple nodes so i can assign a fixed support this this and this so assign to selected node it will ask for the assignment method you have chosen is assigned to selected node do you want to receive yes so you can assign manually by providing selecting the nodes the next part is assign to view assign to view segment is available that whatever the geometry is open in your particular window it will assign to the whole geometry part so let us consider this i am going for the second options that is assign to view so whatever the geometry i have available and the nodes which are considered or developed in the geometrical part it will assign to the view or whatever the structure is available in your main window it will assign directly to that particular segment suppose i want to remove that supports so we have default specification of no support we can go through manually so let us consider use cursor to assign i am going for the no supports means i want to remove the support so i am clicking so as i click on the node support will remove in a similar manner you can go for the manual operation by use cursor to assign for assigning a support suppose i want to provide manually use cursor to assign so i am assigning by cursor manually as you can see the cursor is changed to fixed support i can apply basic by providing the fixed support manually the next is assigned to edit list edit list is provide it's a provision for stat editor approach you can directly edit the numbers of the nodes and by which you can provide the support specification for example let us consider i want to assign fixed support to a node number having 7 so i will go for the 1 3 7 i am adding number 7 over here by providing a space bar so you can see that 1 3 7 and 15 members have assigned the specifications 1 3 7 and 15 so these are the members suppose i want to assign number 4 so i can go for the number 4 so directly you can use the editor approach also for assigning the support specification all these four basic methods are used same in support specification as well as property specification for or the other segment parts so these are the four basic four methods which we will use to assign now let's go for the property pages as i will go for the property pages the another table for the property is highlighted in which we have the reference sections material table and basic edit options available for editing and deleting the values the default properties which is available will be highlighted so let's go for the define property i am going for the define so in a define we have a basic circular rectangular t section trapezoidal general tapered tapered tube you have profile data so you can develop these sections you have to assign all these basic needs all the table you can see f1 f2 all over the geometrical parameters are highlighted over here if you have the properties of any general section like its inertia value section area and depth you can also develop a general section 
a trapezoidal section i'll go with the rectangular section uh, you can see yd is a depth as we have y is a vertical direction depth is shown in a yd parameter so let us consider a beam of one 300 by 230 so i have added a property you can see a rectangular section is added in the property library section i'm closing now the assignment method is same as we have understand in the previous support but as we know supports property specifications are assigned to beam so here assignment method is assigned to selected beams in the previous section that we have assigned supports there were assigned method was selecting to particular node segment so if i want to assign a property to particular segment assigned to selected beam will highlight it can highlight the segment part you can see when i have assigned the property the segment is highlighted with r1 r1 refers to the reference one and the section suppose want to if you want to go for the another section you can also directly add by providing another section 300 i have gone for the point 300 as we have dimensions in meter material is concrete add and you can modify accordingly suppose you want to assign use cursor to assign and manually you can also go for the manual section properties and you can assign the whole segment part by manually now let us say the 3d parameter how after assigning the property how the beam is look like so you can go for the 3d render view and you can see the segment part in three dimensional parameter and whichever the property we have assigned which is highlighted with the color let us see the whole structure so the dimension which we have provided is is highlighted in this parameter see other lines are in a, a simplified mode as we do not have assigned that property to that particular segment so you can assign this in manually also suppose i want to go for assign to edit list i have to show for the beam number one so i will go for beam number one assign so it can assign r2 that is the reference part whichever the section you want to highlight or assign you have to click on that section and then go for the assign suppose you want to delete that property you have to remove that particular number or simplify or modify the section you can go for the edit parameter from here you can edit suppose i want to change the depth i can directly change it from here so the depth will change accordingly in a similar manner you can assign the property segment if you want to modify you can directly modify so as we have assigned the concrete parameter when we click on double click on the member the property will highlight the basic section which we have provided that is 230 by 300 its length is 1.5 meter its physical properties like its area inertia values elasticity and other parameters loading we have not defined the loading so it will not highlight so these are the basic four commands which are used for assigning the property parameters and support specification parameters you can use this on developing the geometrical part now let us assign the ruler support for understanding purpose how we can develop as we have understand how we can develop the roller support you can also go for the roller support the cursor is changed you can see a vertical restraint element is there so while assigning you can develop the roller support also the roller support icon is different from the other segment part so this is how you can modify and assign the property or the specification part of the structure thank you